railing against an American city wasn't the only thing President Trump was up to this weekend. He also announced his choice to take over the key cabinet post of National Intelligence Director, America's chief spy master, tasked with helping keep the country safe. Mr. Trump nominated one of his most loyal members of Congress to that post, a Texas congressman whose name you might not be familiar with. There is a picture of him on the right-hand side of your screen. His name is John Ratcliffe. You may not know the name, but take a look at his questioning of special counsel Robert Mueller last week. With respect to potential obstruction of justice, the special counsel made neither a prosecution decision or a declination decision. You made no decision. You told us this morning and in your report that you made no determination. So respectfully, director, you didn't follow the special counsel regulations. It clearly says, write a confidential report about decisions reached. Nowhere in here does it say, write a report about decisions that weren't reached. You wrote 180 pages, 180 pages about decisions that weren't reached. I agree with the chairman this morning when he said Donald Trump is not above the law. He's not, but he damn sure shouldn't be below the law, which is where volume two of this report puts him. Well, CNN has learned it was that performance that pushed the president to choose Ratcliffe to succeed retiring National Intelligence, Intelligence Director Dan Coats. Let's get more on this. Julia Kayyem is a CNN national security analyst and former assistant secretary at the Department of Homeland Security. Uh, remind our viewers, the director of national intelligence it is not a political appointment, right? There is meant to be political independence with the administration in power. Absolutely. So the, the position was created um, in some of the sweeping reforms after 9-11. Th those reforms mm -hmm. included the creation of the Department of Homeland Security. This created a sort of overarching, it, what you might call intelligence themes apparatus. In other words, they would take all the information coming from mm -hmm. all of our disparate intelligence agencies, G C uh, CIA, Defense, others, um, and to create, uh, you know, sort of priorities, focuses, mm -hmm. and and, and um uh, for the agencies. So it was never intended to be a political position, although like most cabinet uh, secretaries, of course, the president gets to choose. So the long line, right. or the five that have had the position before were not people that you would have described as political, even though some were known Democrats and some were known Republicans. Right. Uh, and of course, the uh, experience level uh, of John Ratcliffe versus someone like Dan Coates is startling. Uh, he's a GOP congressman from Texas. But before that, he was uh, eight years as a small town mayor. If you compare him to Dan Coates, he does not sound, right. according to some, very qualified. No, he's not qualified. I'll be, I, I won't even sort of, you know, try to mute that. So um, uh, this yeah. is a big job dealing with the most sensitive information the United States deals with, covert action, surveillance, um, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, America's national interest. Uh, there is, uh, you know, I don't know how to put it nicely, he is not qualified for this position. He has sat on the mm -hmm. Intelligence Committee as essentially a Fox News mouthpiece. We saw it in the clip there. Uh, he, does, he views intelligence through the lens of an election cycle, and that is, mm -hmm. that is in fact what makes him qualified for Trump and the White House. So the question is then, does this make the United States less safe? Yes. I mean, if you, you look, there's a lot of you know, uh, threats against the United States. So everything from North Korea, of which, you know, obviously the president has a view of what he mm -hmm. wants out of North Korea. Reality is otherwise. Uh, the same can be uh, can be said about um, uh, uh, Saudi Arabia. But I think the may I think the reason why this is so distressing is whatever you think of Coates, you know, um, in terms of um, uh, uh, how he did or pushed back, he believed that Russia was a threat mm -hmm. in 2020. He did not believe all the conspiracy theories. Ratcliffe does not. And that is why Donald Trump wants him in. So in terms of our vulnerabilities as a democracy, um, you know, I, I essentially view the Ratcliffe nomination as a welcome mat to Russia. 